running. Ow. Got my eye on you, bear. Sorry. It's such a pleasure to be back in Paddington's world, the world that Michael Bond created and that Paul King brought so, I think, wonderfully to, to, to the screen. Well, what do you think? It's wonderful. It's such a warm place. So I told you to wash behind your ears. Oh, but I did, Mrs. Bird. I, I wonder how that got in there. He has a very unique mixture of British manners that have been taught to him by Aunt Lucy and probably a kind of wild bear openness and enthusiasm that the British don't always have in abundance. Hmm? I think the most important lessons are really kindness, politeness, honesty, because Paddington is a very straightforward, honest bear, and if you're kind and polite, that actually people will change the way that they behave. We know that somewhere humans are like that, inclusive and understanding and kind, you know, and brave. What a clever little player. He never works on the assumption that people are mean or out to get him or cross or anything like that. He thinks there's good in everyone, and because he looks for it in people, he tends to find it. These aren't exactly made for cooking. Oh, I don't know. Looks to me like you've got yourself a fine pair of orange squeezers. Paddington is always uh, the, the, the most stable character in the film, really, because he, he never changes insofar as if ever mishap befalls him. He doesn't necessarily learn from it, but he just resets really to positive all the time and everything is going to be all right. I must say it's turned out a lot better than I expected. Paddington's had a tremendous effect on Windsor Gardens and the people who live there. Morning, Dr. Jeffrey. You haven't forgotten your keys, have you? Keys? Although they don't always realise it, he's one of those slightly unassuming figures who probably does a hundred good deeds a day, most of which no one really notices. Thank you, Puddington. You're welcome. It's not until he disappears from the community that they begin to realise what they've lost and what a sort of colder, greyer place London's become without the bear. Paddington! Oh, the key to making the film work, the key to making audiences engage with the story, is Paddington. And that's physical, and that's emotional, and performance. The performance that Ben, Wishaw, and Harvey Mazan bring, that Paul brings, and Framestore's ability to bring him to life. Oh, um, Mrs. Brown usually reads me a story before bed. I don't suppose... Sorry, son. No bedtime stories in here. Ben is a fantastic choice. Well, he's a fantastic actor. If you ask me, the... The pink really brightens the place up a bit. He has got that quiet, sort of sweet, innocent warmth in his voice. He's just absolutely captured him. I know we're working to a tight budget, but we could at least add some sauce. Every shot that Paddington is in takes hundreds and hundreds of iterations to get right. It's a very sort of labour-intensive process. How the wind is blowing through his fur can have a real impact on how a scene feels. Often we found that if you want Paddington to look a bit sad, you don't need to do too much acting with the face. You just up the moisture content in his eyes. Suddenly you feel that he's feeling things. Exit bear, pursued by an actor. Oh, well, you know, darling, acting is all responding. Well, you can forget that, because there's nothing to respond to. It's a piece of tape, or it's a lovely Lauren. At the beginning of every setup, every scene, we'll go through a rehearsal with the actors, so they'll know that this is where Paddington will go, and this is where he will have his accident, and this is where the scene will finish, so that they can kind of picture that in their heads. But it must be quite hard for them, really, to be reacting to something that isn't there. That is quite tough. It's certainly, I found the scenes with other humans are easier than the scenes I've played with a beanbag on this film. You wanted to get that book so Aunt Lucy could see London, didn't you? It was always her dream. Well, we thought, why look at London in a book when she could see the real thing? Even though he isn't there, um, he's the lead and he's the most important character. So making sure that he's involved in the conversation, even if he doesn't say anything, it's all in his eyes and face. Why don't you go and answer that? Really, Paddington is a combination of all of these brilliant people. It's not just the voice talent and just the acting, it's, it's the animators and the creature effects people. And together, they build something that hopefully feels like a living, breathing bear.
wearing a hat and duffel coat. Happy birthday, Aunt Lucy.